Hey everyone, I want to do a quick demo here. This is a 1978 Revox B77. It's a half track uh, recorder. It runs at three and three quarter and seven and a half inch speed. Um, I've spent a lot of time on here. I got um, one of Erhart Audios. I, I got his, uh, it's a um, the cap transistor and trimmer kit. Um, so he uses Nichicon caps in that and those kits, and I and I love those things. But in this, I used mostly Elna Silmic two capacitors in it, um, and some Nichicon and and some of the other um, axial caps. Um, all the transistors have been replaced except for two. Um, it's got good heads on it. Everything functions. The real motors. Both uh, in each, you know, there's two bearings in each. They're brand new with uh, ABEC7 type of roller bearing. The cap stand has uh, been lubed with centered bearing oil uh, of the recommended flavor. Um, there's also this uh, tape tensioner is also has new damping grease on it um, from what, you know, everyone recommends the type on there. Uh, new belt. It's got the tape cutter on it. And uh, let's let's do a demo of it. Good old YouTube copy free music, copyright free music. Okay, that's what's uh, that's what you're hearing going onto the tape. That's coming off of the tape. Try that again. This is what you hear going onto the tape, right? And that's coming off of the tape. I got my speakers wired up backwards, so forgive me. Testing one, two. This is my camera. This is left, left channel. channel. Testing one, two, three. Uh, right one, I went a little too far. This is what we just recorded. Like I said, there's a ton of work been done on this thing. Um, so again, all the trimmers have been replaced on here. The um, even the the peak LEDs are operational. Um, I, I, that board gave me fits, so the the trimmers are of an older variety, but they're a good trimmer, not the ones that are going to fall apart. Um, also, the record relays on the on the board have been replaced, and uh, Erhard Audio sells a nice a nice uh, drop in for that. So those are all new. The pinch roller is the original, and it's but it's good. It's a good pinch roller. Um, I'm and I just did so much. I'm trying to look at a note here. Um, the um, which one is it? This you know how these things always break. The, there's these four toggles. This one was broken. Yeah, yeah, and it's been replaced with one that actually has a metal shaft on it. So so that's a plus. Um, yeah, and I and I went through and I set the. Uh, I checked the tape heads. The tape heads are great on this thing. Um, the uh, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. 
Um, it has been aligned with my uh, MRL tape, my calibration tape. Um, so all the record levels are great on it, and the playback is, is what it needs to be, you know, through the manual. Um, <clears throat> starting to... What else did we do to this thing? You really had to go and find a good bearing for these real motors. Some of the, some of the ones that sold in kits are not that great. But looking for the ABE C7, I think they make a nine, but I don't, I don't know that it's worth all that. The seven seemed to work perfectly great. <laughs>